This is Brett Waltemath of Starwatch Media outside of Cafe Entourage in Hollywood, California for the pre-release party of the psychological thriller Insight hosted by Ink Tip Magazine. Brianna, I gotta tell you, I bet you don't want to see the year of 2011 end. You've had a, quite a year. You've been highly acclaimed for your role in The Encounter, uh, receiving the Best Actress Award, at, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the Long Island Film Expo, and also being voted by Soap Digest as the sexiest actress on General Hospital. So just and so just tell us a little bit about this year and the run that you've had and and just about how it's, how it's been for you this year. Uh, 2011 has been amazing. I have been on General Hospital and like you had mentioned and uh, last year we finished off by having being labeled uh, the best storyline of 2010 by Soap Opera Digest so that was an awesome start. Um, I did that. I've been working on uh, Showtime's Homeland with Clara Danes, Mandy Patinkin. That's been amazing. I just finished doing uh, ABC body of proof and then we just recently wrapped an indie comedy called uh, Screwed that I play the I play the, the, the woman that well I'll let you describe it <laughs> so much better than I am. Yeah it's a story about a guy who discovers that he's very bad in bed. And in order to get better in bed to win back the woman of his dreams, which is what Brianna plays, yeah. he goes on a quest, and it's a magical quest to become a better lover, where he gets to sleep with all sorts of wonderful women who teach him many things about yeah. about how to please the woman. Yeah. Uh, but it's a fun little movie. It's sort of a 500 Days of Summer cross with Knocked Up, and uh, we're really looking forward to have it out there. Yeah. And then how does it feel to see the amount of success that Brianna is receiving as the producer to see that, see one of your actresses receive so much success this year? It's amazing. I've actually known Brianna for a long time. Time. and to see her career go forever has been incredible and now to be involved in a project with her as a producer is even more exciting because she brings so much to the table and you can't do it without her. And, and is Screwed the first project that you guys have collaborated on together? Yes. It is. Yeah. Uh, we're actually looking at doing a couple more here now in the next year, but uh, that's the first one we'd worked on together. Yeah. And what was it like on set for you guys collaborating for the first time but having known each other for many years? What was that like? Oh, it was, it was, it felt like play. <laughs> like my buddy. We're hanging out. Yeah. It, it was great. Uh, you know, it, our friendship has been incredible for both of us, but to work together, you have a trust that, that isn't there in, in other situations, yeah. and it was really wonderful. Yeah. Do you think in this industry that that's a very rare thing? I don't know if it's rare, but I think it's special. Yeah. I think that's why people uh, work together with people they know and trust over and over again because they just can collaborate and it's a yes and and it's just a more positive experience. That's exactly right. I think it eliminates the, the ego that can sometimes get in the way in projects and you just, when you can look at somebody in the eyes and know that you already have, have a trust with them, you just move forward and that's the best way to go. Yeah. Upcoming projects for you both, starting with you, starting with you Brianna. Um, well, as I would mentioned, uh, Showtime's Homeland, uh, ABC Body of Proof, Scrooge coming out, and then uh, my film that I co-executive produced and starred in The Accounter that I won Best Actress for, actually just uh, just won uh, Best Short. Oh, congratulations. And it got into its 18th film festival for this year, and uh, so we're continuing that film festival route as well. Let me say really quick, what's it like for you to just, uh, for an independent film, to see the amount of success that it's had? Um, it's blown away because I was there when uh, my friend, the writer-director, decided to start writing it. I was there and gave notes on the first draft. And, I, and I've always believed in Angela Matamocha as a director and to see her going from stage to screen and then to have such great accolades on her first, you know, directorial film debut. I was just so glad that I was able to help facilitate it. And upcoming projects for you, sir, that we have to look forward to. Uh, yeah, Punching Bees, which is my company, uh, we also have a film in post called Least Among Saints, which is an indie war drama. And then we have a horror film that we're in pre-production on now. Actually, with my production with company. With Brianna Production <laughs> Company. That's the next one we're collaborating on. Continue collaborative efforts. Yes. When it works, it works. When it works, it works. Uh, and then there's a couple other things we're circling right now, but we're going to have a busy 2000, uh, 2012. Yeah. Well, I wish you best of luck in 2012, and congratulations and best of luck on future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much.